Crafting is nothing but arrangement of elements in some specific order. Once we have moved to J, then where the comparison takes place. How long here it will take place while J is greater than or equals to 1 till that it has to process. In second phase, totally we have considered 3 elements but swapping 2 and 1 then 1 and 0 it takes place. A of J is not less than A of J minus 1 then swapping will not take place. It will move to the next element. Welcome back to one and all. Myself, Vasanta, lecturer in computer science, Vidyashram, Priyan City College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Today, we will start with the fifth session of data structure chapter. Whereas in the previous session, you have studied regarding insertion of an element. Insertion of an element. What do you mean by that insertion of an element? Inserting a particular element at a particular position is called as insertion of an element in the array. Then algorithm for insertion, how to write the algorithm for insertion. Then deleting an element from the array, how to delete the element especially in the array. Then algorithm for deletion, how to delete an element for that algorithm also already you came to know. Whereas on today's session, you will come to know what do you mean by sorting the element under that insertion sort algorithm for insertion sort. What do you mean by this sorting? Already I told you in the previous session regarding the operations of array. On that operations of array, I told you traversing, insert an element, delete an element, searching, sorting as well as merging. Whereas traversing is nothing but visiting each node from the beginning one by one till the end. Whereas inserting means inserting an element, particular element in the array at a particular position. Whereas the deletion refers to deleting an element in the array. Whereas searching is nothing but finding the location of an element. Whereas on today's class you will come to know regarding sorting. Then what do you mean by sorting? Which are the types of sorting? Sorting is nothing but arrangement of elements in some specific order where it may be in increasing order or it may be in decreasing order, ascending order or descending order. Consider in the classroom we have several students, I am to consider each one student will be one one array element. On that which are the major operation I can able to perform, I can check the nodes, each and everybody's nodes from the beginning till the end that can be called as traversing. Then whichever student I want, I can able to insert that student inside my class, insertion is possible. Deletion, whichever student we don't want. That student we are going to deleting, deletion is possible. Then searching, we can able to identify which student used to talk in between my class. Searching is possible. Sorting, that is arrangement of elements here. Here, if I want, I can able to arrange all the students with their height or depending upon by their marks. It means that sorting is nothing but arrangement of elements in some specific order where it may be increasing order or it may be in decreasing order. Sorting is the arrangement of elements of the array in some order where it may be increasing or it may be decreasing. But when you come on, the several types of sorting techniques are there. Bubble sort, selection sort as well as insertion sort. There are several types of sorting techniques. But in your syllabus, you have only one that is insertion sort. Bubble sort, selection sort, in session sort. Now we will explain regarding what do you mean by insertion sort, how insertion of an element will take place with an example. Consider we have the array elements 4, 3, 2, 1. The first element of the array usually assumed to be sorted and the remaining will be unsorted. Consider in this we have the elements, the elements are in unsorted format. Here 4, 3, 2, 1. Consider these are the array elements, their position wise 0, 1, 2 and then 3. What we will do, we will assume the first element is the sorted element and the remaining elements are unsorted elements. First we have to assume to perform insertion sort, we have to assume that the first element is sorted and the remaining will be unsorted but the comparison sorted with unsorted elements each and every time. To perform that I will write in vertical format. 
the elements first i'll tell four then three then two next one i am going to assume the first element that is on the position 0 4 is a sorted element and the remaining will be unsorted element in the first phase what i have to do i have to compare the first element with the second element it means that the comparison takes place from the position 1 till the last one n minus 1 here the comparison takes place with the remaining element where the remaining element starts from the position 1 till the last one that is n minus 1 here in first phase, I am to compare only two elements, the position A of 0 and A of 1. See, compare the element A of 0 with A of 1. Here I told you A of 0 with A of 1, not with A of 1 with A of 0. Compare these two elements, A of 0 and A of 1. On this, if A of 1 is less than A of 0, then swapping will take place. Then what do you mean by this swapping? interchanging the value for example consider we have two memory locations a and one more is b in a i'm having 10 for example in b i'm having 20. if i want to interchange the position then first what i will do i will take one temporary place on that place i am going to move the first value a value then now this place become free once if it is free in the next phase i will move 20 to the first place now this place become free. Then afterwards, I will move this temporary value to this place B. It means that swapping, interchanging, the position will take place in between A of 0 and A of 1. If A of 1 is less than A of 0. In this case, we have 3 and here we have 4. That's why in between these two variables, swapping will take place. Then the value will be 3, 4, 2, 1. Their position 0, 1, 2, 3. This is the first phase. Here unsorted with sorted. All the things here one by one it will take. Now consider in the second phase already we have swapped 4 and 3. If you observe here 4 and 3 we have swapped. Now take on the same output for the second iteration for the second phase. But here we are considering three values that is A of 0, 1 and then 2. But here swapping will take place first between 2 as well as 3 then once again 2 as well as 1 then 1 by 1 here it will take first here first the comparison will take place between A of 2 and A of 1. A of 2 and A of 1 when I swap that is A of 2 is less than A of 1 then swapping will take place if you observe here now 1, 4, 2 and then 3 from these two numbers swapping takes place 2 will come here and 4 will move here next totally we consider three elements but comparison here it takes place between two now next once again the comparison takes place between only two that is a of 1 as well as a of 0 1 2 3 4 between these two number now the swapping will takes place that is a of 1 with a of 0 on this case what happens now these two elements a of 1 is less than a of 0 then swapping will take place now 2 will come 3 4 then 1 position by 0 1 2 3 it means that in second phase totally we have considered three elements but swapping 2 and 1 then 1 and 0 it takes place next in the second third phase what happens we are going to compare totally four elements but comparison takes place first between 3 and 2 next 2 and 1 and then 1 and 0 from higher order to lower order first here when we compare this 1 4 3 2 from these two the swapping will take place if you observe the next phase here what happens the swapping will take place here once again the 1 and 2 value will change us here swapping here if we got to get 4 and then here it is 1 then 0 1 2 3 swapping will takes place then once again next between these two values then the value here these two value will interchange here then here 0 1 2 3 if you observe here 1 will come on the position 1 and 3 will come at the position 2 then like that finally once again the swapping will takes place between these two variables then here 1 2 3 4 position by 0 1 2 3 it means that here this first the swapping will takes place between 3 and 2 between these two then next phase here it will take the swapping takes place between 2 and 1 
and the next phase it will take the swapping between 1 and 0. Now is it clear? Like this the elements will sorted here. Now the finally the sorted elements are 1, 2, 3, 4. Their position wise 0, 1, 2, 3. Now it is in sorted order. This can be called as insertion sort. In insertion sort what we are doing? We are going to assume the first element is a sorted and the remaining element will be unsorted and the comparison takes place with sorted with the remaining all unsorted element. But if you observe here the remaining element that unsorted element starts from the position 1 to the last one. Now we will explain with one example already we explained with one example now we will explain the algorithm regarding that. Before writing the algorithm, you have to mention which are the variables here we are using. When they come on this, A be an array with n unsorted elements. The elements are not arranged in some specific order here. It is unsorted format. The variable i and j are used to index the array elements. To identify the position, we are need i and j value. Here, we will explain once again one more problem. Consider in the first step we have started. Whereas algorithm is nothing but step by step procedure. Step by step procedure to solve the problem. In first step we have just started. Then in step 2 input n. How many elements are there? That we have to input here. Input n. Then for i equals 0 to n minus 1 input all the values one by one then now exactly the swapping the insertion sort will take place if you observe the problem here i told you the first one will be the sorted and the remaining will be unsorted the remaining elements start from the position 1 till the last one n minus 1 that's why here in the algorithm what we are written for i equals 1 to n minus 1 only you have to write compulsory. Don't start from 0. 0 considered as is a sorted element. The unsorted element starts from the position 1 to the last element that is n minus 1. Then whatever value in the i that we will move to j value. Consider in the example consider we have the elements. A, B, C but position Y 0, 1, 2. Now, first step what I have done here is start from position 1 to N. The swapping will take place between 1 to N minus 1. Now, in first iteration, I given I equals 1. Now, in first iteration, I value equals 1 here. That we will move to J. Now, J is also considered as 1 only. That I value we are moving to J. Once we have moved to J, then where the comparison takes place, how long here it will take place while J is greater than or equals to 1 till that it has to process and A of J is less than A of J, the swapping will take place. In step 7, if A of J is less than A of J minus 1, here I given J is 1, I is also 1, which is J here, now J represents 1 here. Now this represents j value. A of j minus 1 represents this 0 position. If a of j is less than a of j minus 1, then swapping has to take place between these two. How swapping will take place? First, see if you observe here, once if I moved i value to j, then here compulsory to mention j only. Because now I moved i value to j, that's why. Then here the swapping if a of j is less than a of j minus 1. This is j and this is j minus 1. If it is less than this, I want to write b in the below side. That's why the swapping has to take place. First phase here what we will do? We are moving a of j, this b value to a temporary place. a of j value we are going to move to temporary place. Then the array element represent here c and then a on this phase. Then what is the next thing? A of j minus 1. See here. This is j and this is A of j minus 1. A of j minus 1 has to move to A of j. This value has to move here. Then what happens? Then A will come here. C will come here. 
y of j value equals y of j minus 1. Y of j minus 1 value will move to y of j like this wrapping takes place. Now the temporary element here we have the value b. The temporary element value has to move to this particular place. Like this the temporary value has to move to y of j. Like this the swapping will take place. First phase we are done. We are done what we are exactly done? i equals 1 as well as j equals 1 we are done. Only two variables are shifted here now. That is if you observe here I get a, c and then b. But still it is in not sorted order. Now once again what happens? After completing, after swapping j value equals j minus 1. Then once again here now j become 1. Now it is 0. Condition not satisfied. Once again it will come back to the loop. Now i will increase by 1. Now i is equals to on this case. Now i equals to. The same value will move to j. Now j is also 2 here now. Then if you check the condition, j is greater than or equals to 1. Yes. With that a of j is less than a of j minus 1. Now this represents j and this represents j minus 1. This is j and this is j minus 1 now. Because position y is 0, 1, then 2 here we have. That's why now the swapping will take place between these two variables. Then after this what we are getting the result here we are going to get b kept as it is. Here a and then c portion by 0 1. After this j value will decrease us by j equals j minus 1. Now j is 1. Now once again it will reduce us to 0. j is greater than or equals to 0 that it will check. Then afterwards the swapping will take place between these two variables. Now this represents j and this represents j minus 1. Then once again the swapping will take place. Then what is the value? Here I am going to get a then b and then c. Position by 0, 1, 2. It means that until j is greater than or equals to 1 till that this process especially this process will repeat again and again until we are going to get j is greater than or equals to 1 till that the swapping will take place. If e of j is less than e of j minus 1. Only on that case if a of j is less than a of j minus 1 only on that case the swapping will take place. If the element is not less than a of j is not less than a of j minus 1 then swapping will not take place. It will move to the next element. Like this the swapping will take place till j is less than or equals to 1. Here now if you observe now i value increases to the next element. Now i become on the place of 2 now it is 3 condition not satisfied then finally everything will come out from the loop. Like this the swapping will take place. If you observe the problem then you observe that here first I am going to assume I am going to compare 0 and 1 then this is the result. Then next 2 and 1 then next 1 and 0. Second phase in third phase 3 2 then 2 1 the next 1 and 0. Till that whereas j is less than or equals to 1 till that it can able to perform. Whereas here j if it is greater than or equals to 1 till that only it can able to process then afterwards everything will come out from the loop. Now is it clear for all of you? Next class we will explain regarding what you mean by two dimensional array with that what do you mean by row major order as well as column major order whereas in row major order how elements are stored as well as in column major order how elements are stored especially in the memory how to access the two dimensional array elements in the memory whether it's a row major order or it is a column major order then what are the advantages of array then disadvantages of array with that you will come to know regarding the application of array. Now is it clear for all of you? Thank you for all of you.